In what is termed as the most horrific attack on civilians in recent times, the Sri Lankan army has killed more than a thousand people just yesterday alone. Entering into the so-called no-fire zone, the army had flanked nearly a thousand innocent civilians and used them as human shield to move further into the area. These people were straight walked into minefields and later got caught in the crossfire. The move did not pay dividends as the rebels started counter-attacking on the advancing troops. Suffering heavy casualties, the army quickly fell back to original positions along with nearly 8,000 captured civilians. More than 3,000 people were critically injured in all of this, with many of them bleeding to death due to severe shortage in medical services. The Sri Lankan government has twisted the events and claimed that they had rescued nearly 30,000 people. It showed UAV footages of civilians who were reluctant to fall into the army's captivity and portrayed them as fleeing civilians. The scenes of Sinhala army personnel rejoicing the ordeal of the Tamil civilians summed up the mood in the government camp. The UN also has bought into Sri Lanka's twisted story without verifying details, which does not come as a surprise to many observers. Renowned human rights activists such as John Charlton have brushed aside UN's human shield accusations on rebels. They claim that it is virtually impossible for such a small rebel force to control hundreds of thousands of people while also fighting the Sinhala army. In the meantime, the Sri Lankan president Mahinda Rajapaksa has said that he was ready to face electrocution if convicted of committing genocide. Richard Anderson, Web News Service, Melbourne, Australia